I'm going to give you another song by the band The Deer Hunter. Oh, The Deer Hunter, that Queen tribute band. Oh, I remember. <laughs> yes, Dad. That's exactly who it is. <laughs> it's showtime, folks. Hey everybody, welcome to Into the Music. I'm Andy, that's John, and most of you probably know that by now. <laughs> um, but we are here. Oh, <laughs> Sometimes I forget my own name. I was just really reminding myself. Um, we're here well, to- What one you're uh, using this currently? Yeah, the one that I'm using now, yeah, yeah. Never gonna use the government name. All those driver's licenses, it's hard to keep track, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it's hard staying on the lamb these days, man. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> all right john i've got a song for you are you ready sir ready as always excellent, I'm excellent. almost willing okay almost <laughs> well when i named the band you might run for the hills although you withstood oh, I made it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you withstood your first reaction to them and i think actually ended up warming up to them a little bit or at least were, were made curious by their sound um, so I'm going to give you another song by the band, The Deer Hunter. Oh, The Deer Hunter, that Queen tribute band. Oh, I remember. <laughs> yes, Dad, that's exactly who it is. <laughs> <laughs> and the tune uh, by them is uh, a song called Old Demons. All right, so go Excellent. give that a listen and, and let me know what you think on, as we like to say, the other side. Mm -hmm. Apathy was a game I never played Cause agony is a feeling I've been to this now <laughs> their style they really put a lot of thought into this i noticed that first verse after the nice sort of almost swinging piano and the little organ top the metronomic uh, piano single key sort of tick tocking for a couple of lines and then it changed and it was sort of lower notes it was slightly down still there but you didn't hear it prominently and touches like that are really clever. Um, and I quite like the sort of, what would you call it, that little mini bridge or bump at the end of a chorus. Yes, it's good. Akron faces fade Making a mockery of mythology Sounds
Okay, I'm not converted. I am slowly coming round. Yeah. Back to that then. And you're back. Yes. I made it through the wilderness, as Madonna <laughs> would say. Um, <laughs> yes. So, uh, the deer hunter, old demon. Old demons. Um, I think I've said in the reaction, I'm not converted. But I'm slowly coming around inch by inch. Um, I did enjoy this. Yeah, you did. Um, I'm getting more used to them and what they do. And to be honest with you, there wasn't a huge amount of nonsense in this, you know. Mm. So um, it was great. A big, big sound. And this one wasn't so much like the Queen stuff or the other one, you know, the, the harmonies and, the, you know, guitars. There was a... a it, there was reminiscences of, but they're not strong, but reminiscence of like Muse, you know. Mm. But um, lovely start with the piano, and it had a real sort of swing to it. Again, slightly theatrical, but you know, it wasn't overboard or anything. Um, so uh, I kept my heckles down, um, <laughs> but it was nice. And then the, it was, it was uh, I mean, the organ highlighting over the top of the bits here and there was really not a start to it. And it just overall, it felt playful. It had, and I put my notes, a playful sonic palette. Mm -hmm. um, when it goes into, um, into the verse, um, there's that single piano chopping, almost metronomic. Um, and I don't know if I imagined this, or not but the thing a couple of lines breaks and then a couple more lines and the second couple of lines i think it changed to a different note and that sonically just brought it down a bit in terms of the overall how forward it was the mix mm. or perhaps it just dropped it down but it's uh, but I, I, it just it felt like a lot of construction it was very well thought out um i wasn't getting much of the lyrics as usual <laughs> um but I wasn't sure. This didn't feel to me like part of a concept or story. I could be wrong, but it felt more like a, a declaration uh, mm -hmm. of somebody. And I would get, I mean, there's bits about, um, I've got some lines, I'm, get, I'm letting the old demons out, bringing down the walls around all the denial and the doubt. So I wasn't sure from that whether he meant that... Um, He's just letting go of all the stuff that's holding him back, you know, these old demons mm -hmm. um, and all the other stuff that's holding him back, the denial and down. So let's just go, you know, I'm not letting it. I know that's in it sounded internal rather than external forces holding him back, but it could be both because that's the way songs and poetry work. Um, but yeah, it was, it was interesting enough to keep my, um, my attention. The chorus... I did like the touches of brass in there, which sort of highlighted again. Again, they thoughtful in the way they constructed it because it wasn't over the top. I mean, they were just touches. They really were. Mm. It wasn't big brass, you know. I liked his vocal style. Um, and the way he sort of adds bits to it, he stretches out certain phrases, notes, or words um, in his more verse stroke theatrical singing those bits i liked and then when he's straightforward belting it like at the chorus you know it's just got a simple voice a fantastic voice and that's all good then they went into um you call it an old-fashioned vamp you know they were just sort of this little jazzy bit with the with the fuzz guitar um again it was i mean entertaining as well and it wasn't again this was actually quite constrained i would say it wasn't overboard at all mm -hmm. so you know just as you're raising the hand to object you know it's sort of way and it's done so it's fun you know you know messing around it's fun it was really enjoyable and then there was a second sort of um freestyle at the end as it were and it really ended on a sort of like jaunty note and i had this feeling and I don't know why, because I wasn't listening or understanding the lyrics, but this feeling of defiance, that's what it said to me. That's the first word that popped to my head as soon mm. as the song finished, you know. So overall, um, thumbs up. 
that's god damn it you know that's the second one you've maybe sit through and half enjoy <laughs> <laughs> well we're gonna no, keep going until I... you either full enjoy <laughs> or absolutely hate and then we're gonna be like okay we've we've reached where we're gonna go with this until so. one of us dies yes, yes um, exactly. <laughs> we'll keep doing this no, for I, every job. I, i'm teasing i i did enjoy it, actually i really did awesome um, yeah it was so um tell us a bit more about this song and well where it comes from everything you've said it was um not by the well maybe by the band and by me in this in the sense that it, it's intentional like this is this is not off an album that is one of their concept albums every All album right. they've ever put out is a concept album album save for one and that one album was this 2013 album Migrant, um, where each song is its like sort of standalone thing. Um, now, this album came out with 12 tracks, but then they released this, what they called like the Migrant Reprise bonus pack, which is like the Migrations Annex EP, which has uh, like an additional six songs on it, I think. Um, and this is one of those songs that was off the Annex EP that sort of came out in tandem with the Migrant full album, but it's not off the Migrant album. Um, but it's kind of a package deal anyway, right? This EP and that album. Uh, so yeah, this is um, the one of the many songs. I actually like a few, a lot of the songs off the Migrations uh, Annex EP more than I do uh, off Migrant, but Migrant's really good too. Um, but I figured I got you to test the waters with some of their concept stuff off the color spectrum. Now I've gotten you to listen to sort of the standalone track off of this album that is not a concept album and wanted to see if you could catch the differences. And it sort of sounds like you did. I mean, the concept album, the song of the concept album you listened to wasn't a greater story concept album, but it was still a concept album nonetheless. And it had a bit more moving parts than I think this song uh, did. It's funny that you mentioned the the end sounding defiant in this because I always thought that it sounded kind of tumultuous um, when it cut when it gets to its apex like it's the apex it's this like almost controlled calamity that's kind of happening um, in yeah. the tempo and and the musicality of it. Um, I have to say that generally speaking, you're right. It is about like resolving old demons that you have and, and sort of exercising them, uh, if you will. So um, if you would like to entertain me, I'll go through the lyrics with you a bit. If that's oh. cool. So verse one, apathy was a game I never played because agony is a feeling I've been steeped in slow. Swapping all my smiles for a scowl and sheltering my shortcomings from every prying eye. But I'm letting the old demons out, bringing down the walls around, all the denial and the doubt. I won't be, this is verse two, I won't be satisfied till the saccharine faces fade, making a mockery of mythologies and tried traditions. For I was blind, now I can see. Every obstacle through soliloquy clears its path in front of me. But I'm letting the old demons out, bringing down the walls around all the denial and the doubt. And then this is the bridge where he says, and if I suddenly sink into a cowardly drink to drown out the swarm of the hive minded bees, strike the spirits from my rigid lips and pull me out the tide all tumbling in, which is when you have that like it gets like all the calamitous music and everything. And it, it kind of echoes the, the tide that he's tumbling in, like he's rolling around in a wave trying to come up for air and seek footing. But I'm letting the old demons out, bringing down the walls around all the denial and the doubt, every painful plea aloud, kicking the old demons out, bringing down the walls around all the denial and the doubt. So yeah, very poetic in its in the way it was written, um, and yeah, there's a lot of introspection going on and struggle and and want to kick these old habits, whether they be um, sort of the um, the high horse approach to social interactions or dealing with people of different schools of thought, um, or something as base uh, and as common as as alcoholism and um, getting away from, from those demons as well. 
So, yeah, I just thought it was a great song. Casey Crescenzo's voice is really great on this tune. Um, This was produced by him and another individual, this album uh, and the song. So, yeah, that's that's the synopsis of it. Um, I didn't want to throw you something. I don't want to throw you into the deep end yet. I'm trying to get you into the waters and then I'll 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 hurl some some crazy stuff off their axe project that is very much um concept related and a larger story and a larger narrative but i hope that like maybe you can listen to it and not feel like you're missing a huge piece because you're not aware of the the story surrounding it um and i don't have to nerd out and describe everything to you because that's the drawback like i want to i want to show people this stuff but i'm afraid that if i inundate them with information it's going to be like you're going to turn them off you know what i mean and that's sort of the problem with bands that do a lot of this big picture stuff Funnily enough, I had a conversation, you know, sometimes I talk about having a conversation with my nephew who's just getting into music. Um, he's 13. And um, he came out the other day, he says, oh, I'm not going to listen to that because that's a concept album. And concept albums suck. <laughs> and I says, you do realise that Dark Side of the Moon is kind of a concept album. Mm-hmm. But it's got singing in it. He thought concept meant instrumental. Because oh. um, because <laughs> at a record at a record fair, we there was someone who had a big table of any album for like one pound. I said, right, fill your boots. You can have stuff off that table, you know. Yeah, and it was yeah. a Stevie Wonder a double album that I'd never heard of, called something like The Secret Life of Plants or something. Mm. And it's a double album, instrumental. I didn't, I'd never heard it before. I said, Stevie Wonder, that'd be great. Have that for a quid, you know. Um, he did get some perlers in there as well. He, I mean, he got some Al Green and um, some other stuff. I can't think what. Well, that's what that, you think about concept albums, you know. And I said, well, you know, OK Computer is kind of a concept album. It's this overreaching one yeah. idea. And he goes, no. <laughs> said, yeah. And he goes, two of my three favourite albums ever are concept albums. Oh. I've got to redo my thinking. That was his words. <laughs> redo my thinking. Excellent. Well, it's good that he's right. open to redoing his thinking. That's the, that's the you know sort of pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. Yeah. And if I can get him to switch off lights when he leaves the room and shut the door behind him, like we already be there. <laughs> baby steps, John. Baby steps. <laughs> One thing at a time. Uh, and empty his awesome. letter tray as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Feel free to take us away, man. I'm really glad that you that this one was another one that didn't completely turn you away from these guys, oh, no, and that you might still be open to hearing something else. Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, uh, thanks, Andy, and thank you everybody for watching and um, and surviving with us till the very bitter end. Well done, you. Um, <laughs> if you like this, please hit the like button. Uh, and let us know in the comments as well what you think of this one, fans of uh, Deer Hunter. Please, uh, we'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and swell our growing ranks within the Into the Music family. And we shall see every single one of you, because we are watching, mm. um, on the next episode of Into the Music. See you guys.